Hey guys, so we're back at it again this week with more school. We have two more weeks of lecture and then we have finals week and then Christmas break finally. Um, actually this morning was a lot going on so I wasn't able to talk to you guys. I basically did all my dues for my Anki and then I worked on my peer teaching for anatomy and you guys saw that in the last clip, me doing that a little bit. And then right after that at three, I had a research meeting to figure out if I was interested in joining a research project um, with a surgeon and the meeting went really well. And I think the goal of the research is super interesting and it's something I really saw myself being able to have fun doing while also making a meaningful contribution to literature in some form. So I said yes and so I'm super excited. This is my first research project in medical school and right now we're just in the early, 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 very early phases of doing a literature search, but I'm not gonna talk about it much more yet. I don't wanna really give out any details or anything like that, but super excited I'm able to take part in something like this. And the PI, or uh, the surgeon I'm gonna be working with who's running the whole research, was really great and super nice. So I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. But for now, more school. I have not done any lectures for today because I was just doing Anki and Anatomy. And I think there's three lectures I have to get done today. So I need to get those done. And I want to watch one more sketchy video in addition. So I got four things plus the Anki for those four things left to do today. And then I would say it's been a pretty productive day if I can get those done. If not, I won't beat up on myself. I need to get at least three of those things done. But before that, more coffee and we'll get right into it all right that took me way longer than expected but i'm finally finished with my portion of the uh look wait there's more there's more there you go finally finished with my portion of the lower extremities and now it's time for a lecture on fungi All right guys, so like you have seen, it is Tuesday and this morning I, again, was crazy busy. Usually when I open up my Anki, I have all the cards that are due and even some of the new cards I haven't seen from previous lectures that I've already done. And in the mornings, usually that number is around maybe 600, maybe around there. And that's before I review lectures for that day and add the new cards to the same day. And after adding those new cards for the lectures from that same day, I usually will have done around 680, 700 cards at the end of the day. However, this morning I opened up my Anki and the amount of due cards was around 750 something, something like that. And I haven't even added my new lecture cards for today. So I probably will end up doing around 800 something cards today, unfortunately. I'll have to trust the algorithm and trust the process, even though it's a lot and it feel like information just like leaving my brain every time I look up. So. Hopefully things will start to come together soon, but I do have pair teaching for those lecture slides that I prepared yesterday, and I have to go and do that right now. Because its origin point is above the hip joint at the uh, anterior superior iliac spine, and because it's above the hip joint, it can also flex the thighs. So in addition to extending the knee like all the other quadricep muscles, it can also flex the hip, and it's also innervated by the same femoral nerve inserts on the same spot. Okay, it is about 5.58 p.m. and I just finished the immunology lecture and the Anki cards that go with it. And so I'm glad to have all the lectures that aren't sketchy related out of the way right now um, because I have to do sketchy and just sketchy for the rest of the night plus Anki cards that go along with it. Um, so about four more hours of studying and sketchy 
Hermes, the god of herpes, covering HSV-1 and 2. Alright, so I know this has nothing to do with what drugs are used to prevent breakouts of herpes simplex virus, but if you guys like eggnog, I really suggest this brand. I really, it's called Bolt House, and this is my first time ever trying it. Um, it's actually fairly expensive. It was like $5 for this thing, um, which I'm fairly cheap and would not usually buy it, but I was feeling in the holiday spirits and decided to buy it, and it was one of the best eggnog purchases I've ever made. I need to go to bed. Uh... All right, it is Wednesday. I am doing Anki right now. Um and I have about 416 cards done. After this, I do need to head over to a follow-up appointment for my um, wisdom teeth surgery, see what's going on with my teeth. I'm back from my dentist appointment. If you saw in that picture, that was my x-ray before I had my wisdom teeth removed. So if you caught a glimpse, all the ends, they're gone. All right, the first lecture for today is immunoprophylaxis, the modulation of the immune response, vaccines and immunotherapy. So it's a lot of immunizations and the concepts behind a lot of them and the different types of vaccines and the overlap obviously between immunology and biotechnology as far as putting these vaccinations out, which is really relevant to the times. In this next lecture, we're gonna be doing some parasitology. All right, so my next sketchy video is over MMR viruses or uh, measles, mumps, rubella viruses. And I'm strangely excited to get started with this, um, probably because anytime there's something kind of medically related being thrown around, common jargon, commonly known things in the medical field that you hear growing up and then you get to learn it in more detail, it's pretty cool because things are making kind of like a full circle. So excited about that actually. <laughs> guy has not started fungi sketchy videos yet and I really need to get that done um, but today I'm actually going to the coffee shop with Tommy and we're gonna get some work done just to make sure we're in a little bit better position for going into the weekend right now I'm gonna go do a little bit more anatomy Okay guys, so today is Friday and I feel like this week has been kind of boring. I'm, I'm sorry if it has been, it's kind of just been kind of school. Yeah, that's what my life is. But today we have TBL over HPV or human papillomavirus. If you guys have never heard of it, it is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases in America. And most people will eventually encounter it one way or another. And it is one of the leading causes of cervical cancer, which is a big problem in Texas. So this TBL is pretty important and really interesting. There is a prophylaxis or a vaccination for HPV that is out, which goes by the common brand name of Gardasil. And we learned about that vaccine and how it works. And um, this week has been really cool because it has been all super, super clinically relevant. And I'm gonna end on this 
specific virus. Not all viruses can cause cancer, but this one can, so it's a it's a it's a bit scary and it's a bit heavy, but I am super grateful to be able to learn about it. I just took a, a coffee nap because I could not stay awake at this desk for the life of me. So let's see if it actually worked. All right, so I probably moved slower than ever today, but 760 cards done. I have not done any new material today, so I promised myself I would watch at least one sketchy video. So today might be the first day in the past few days that I haven't reached 800 cards, but I'll be pretty close, probably around 780 or something like that. But that's exciting. So even though I have a list of all the kind of the bugs and drug videos I need to watch for sketchy on file on Google Sheets, I like seeing the ones that are closer on the horizon, things that I need to get done sooner than later. Um, so here are lots of the fungi I need to watch. Uh, the left column means that I have watched the video and the right column means that I have done the cards for that video. So um, sometimes I will watch the video but won't get to the cards for the next day. So I need to keep uh, those to-do boxes separate. <laughs> This is dinner tonight. All right, guys, it is time to wrap up the day. I finished my chicken tenders and my histoplasmosis, sketchy micro and Anki cards. Honestly, I didn't do a crazy amount of work today. And like I said, Fridays are have recently been kind of rough productivity wise, but I did something. Got 782 Anki cards done with some a sketchy video in. And we learned more about HPV and TBL today. So I call today like a moderate, maybe like slight win. Nevertheless, we are heading into the last lecture week of the semester of MS1, and I'm pretty excited about that. And then after that, we have finals week, so stay tuned for that. We also have Christmas breaks. If there are any types of specific or different types of videos you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments down below, as I won't be doing normal school stuff all the time 24-7. It'll be a nice break for two weeks because we go back pretty early. But thank you for joining me for this 18th week of medical school, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>